Hello and welcome to this video on the United States Medical Licensing Exam, also known as the USMLE. If you're watching this, chances are you've at least thought about taking the USMLE exam or at least heard of it. I was in the same exact position a couple of years ago. After I graduated in 2020, I was excited to start my new job as a general practitioner. And uh, I remember I was a, a fresh graduate at the time, very excited to start my uh, practice as a general practitioner. Uh, and I found out there were 150 other general practitioners applying for four jobs. Uh, so that was the driving factor that drove me to uh, research other opportunities. I remember at the time I stumbled on a YouTube video just like you did right now. So if you're an action taker and you wish to practice medicine in the US, then you're in the right place. In this video, uh, we'll take a look on uh, what the USMLE is, the eligibility criteria for IMGs, as well as uh, the preparation strategies. Uh, so if you are interested in any of those things, then let's get right to it. So what is the USMLE is the first thing we need to know, right? So the USMLE is an exam that assesses physicians' ability to apply medical knowledge, skills, and understanding of clinical science to practice of medicine. This is the formal uh, definition on uh, the USMLE website. Basically, it's required for medical licensure uh, in the United States, and uh, it is sponsored by the Federal State of Medical Board and the National Board of Medical Examiners. Essentially, anyone that would like to practice medicine in the United States as a physician would need to go through the exams. So what are eligibility requirements, right? If you're an IMG and you just heard about it, you might be wondering, oh, what do I need to do to take the exams? Am I even eligible to take the exams? So that was one of the questions I asked myself when I started as well. So there is only a couple of things that is required. I'm going to read it off uh, to you. If you're an IMG, you must have completed medical education at a school listed in the world directory of medical schools. This is the current definition, but for now, uh, you must have completed medical education at a school listed in the World Directory of Medical Schools. And you can go to the website right now, and I'm going to put a link in the description so you can check if your medical school is part of the World Directory of Medical Schools. I'm also going to put the link for the WFME, which will be starting from 2023. That will be the governing uh, body. I'll also put the link for that in the description so you can check out if your country is eligible. So that was the first criteria, right? The second criteria is you must have completed all basic science courses required for graduation. Uh, so it, did, it doesn't say you must have graduated. It says you must have completed all the basic science courses. Those are your uh, anatomies, physiology, pathology, uh, typically during the first two or three years of uh, medical school, right? So if you basically have completed the preclinical years, you can register for the USMLE exam and take your step one. The third criteria is you must also obtain certification from Education Commission for Foreign Medical Graduates, or also called ECFMG. So once you uh, fulfill the first two criteria that I just discussed, you need to be registered to the ECFMG website, and that's the agency that lets you take uh, the exam. The exams itself, the USMLE exams, I'm just going to give you an overview because I didn't know this information when I started, and I looked at conflicting information on the web, but for now, I'm going to tell you regarding each of the USMLE exams. So uh, there's three exams, but only two of those USMLE exams you need before applying to residency. So there are the USMLE Step 1, USMLE Step 2 CK, and the USMLE Step 3. USMLE Step 1 and USMLE Step 2 CK are uh, essential for IMGs to apply to residency. But USMLE Step 3, as I'm going to discuss later on, you can take it after matching to residency. So what is the USMLE Step 1? This is the official definition. Um, so the USMLE Step 1 tests the knowledge and understanding of basic science concepts, including anatomy, biochemistry, physiology, microbiology, pathology, and pharmacology. So these are the six subjects that are going to be tested in the USMLE Step 1. Basically, the preclinical uh, education, or uh, also known as basic sciences. I still remember when I took this exam, uh, it was still graded, and I remember how ecstatic I was when I got my Step 1 score. Um, and this could be you in six months, except it's a uh, pass-fail for you. Um, so imagine you uh, taking this exam in six months and what it would feel like if that's going to motivate you. Um, the second exam is the USMU Step 2 CK, which tests clinical knowledge and understanding of medical diagnoses, management, and prevention. So this is basically 
what we call the clinical years or uh, the clinical knowledge is what's being tested here. And currently the USMLE Step 2 CK is the most important exam for applying to residency and you should be able to get a good score if you want to maximize your chance. And then, uh, like I said, the USMLE Step 3 exam, which you can take before or after matching to residency, is the third of the USMLE exams. Uh, this also tests the ability to apply medical knowledge and understanding of biomedical and clinical science to the practice of medicine. So it's kind of a mesh between uh, USMLE Step 1 and USMLE, St and USMLE Step 2 CK. It's a two-day exam, unlike the USMLE Step 1 and Step 2 CK, which are which only take uh, a day. Um, USMLE Step 3 is a two-day exam. The first day is more like USMLE Step 1, and the second day more like USMLE Step 2 CK. I made a separate video about my USMLE Step 3 experience, and you can find the videos uh, as well. Usually, people take USMLE Step 3 in their first year of residency, but uh, if you have the time to take it before residency, you can do that as well. So in conclusion, USMLE is a very rigorous and comprehensive assessment of physicians' readiness to practice medicine in the United States. It's a set of exams, it takes a long time, but as an IMG, it's essential to know the eligibility criteria, the study materials, and preparation strategies to have a framework in your mind on how you're going to attack the, these exams and not only pass them, but score good uh, grades that maximize your chances of matching to residency. If you like this video, you might also like my other videos, so go ahead and check them out. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment and uh, I'll see you in the next video.